Hello friends, today we'll be testing out the NCA2170 battery and we'll be going through a series of tests and one of the first tests that I would really love to do is to see if this battery um, would hold charge and um, be able to last, um, be able to work even after the tests are done. So here is what it looks like, the NCA2170 battery, it's quite different from the 18650 and yeah, so let's get to the first test. The first test is going to be the water test. So if we put these batteries in water, let's see what the reaction is going to be. And one thing I would say is this is quite dangerous and should not be tried at home. I have safety precautions here just in case anything goes wrong. Let's get to it. So now the battery is going to go into water. First of all, one of the things I didn't do is to check the voltage of this battery but what the actual voltage of the battery is. So it says 3.1 volts on the battery. So now we can put it in the water and let's see what the reaction is going to be. It's 30 minutes after and here's what I've noticed there are still bubbles coming out of the battery this is actually just to show that um, the water is actually getting it into the battery like I said because I have not actually seen any test of these batteries and especially when they are in water and stuff I really don't know what the outcome would be I really don't know what's going to happen here, but um, really not expecting something so dangerous. So it's an hour after and what I've noticed is the bubbles are still literally coming out. So, um, I think I would just like to do the test after this and see if we still have voltage in them because I'm not sure I'm going to be seeing any action here. But I think I would love to see one. But uh, let's check the voltage. wow it still shows 3.1 volt so when we tested the battery at first it was at 3.1 volts and currently it's still at 3.1 volts so this battery might actually be stronger than i thought the water test didn't actually do so much to them so we i kept seeing bubbles but really there's really no effect to the batteries maybe if i let it sit for like a while maybe i will see some rust on them or something but this actually had no effect so the next test will be the short circuit test i won't be going so close to this but i'm still like pretty close um this one is likely to basically do something because I will be connecting the positive to the negative and let's see what we are going to find with these batteries so I have the first uh, um, cable on the positive side and the next cable 
on the negative side. Yeah, basically smokes coming out and the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the wires are very, very hot. So you can literally, um, I can smell it from here. Let's see if we can do that again. You can see the sparks coming out and basically there's a little bit of fire coming out of here. Wow. Well, basically red hot and the cables are melting <laughs> so the batteries are pretty strong and this would actually be trying to catch on fire i can't still believe that i'm actually holding this let's try one more time you can see the red hot wow <laughs> well the batteries are pretty warm not so hot you can see the burn marks on the um the insulation uh pretty nice well it held a little longer it's just warm not so hot okay it's getting hot now and that's just it so that's it for the short circuit test and so the final test is going to be an um, overcharge test what I have here is a laptop charger it is rated um, 90 watts output 18.5 volts it says there output 18.5 volts the NCA 21700 is a 3.1 voltage battery Let's say max nominal voltage is around 3.5, but what we have here is 3.1. And let's say the voltage for the laptop charger that's 18.3 volts. This is not actually normal to push so much voltage into the battery. Well, let's see how it reacts in this case pushing that much voltage and that much power 90 watts into the battery so i have the positive side here and the negative side here that's the positive side and here's the negative side i can actually hear a beeping sound i don't know if that's coming from the battery or from the charger itself it sounds more like a ticking time bomb but on the battery I cannot feel any warmth let's see if I can hold that and do a test on that so I have my leads here and on the other side so I'm going to do a test on them it's actually showing 3.2 volt well this might actually not be what i'm expecting because it's actually charging up the battery like it's a normal charge so this can actually be used to um, spike up the battery a little bit and it's quite funny that it's actually keeping it at a 2.3.2 3.3 volt so it, show, it shows it like it's um, it's a normal charge that you're going to get. The funniest thing is I don't have anything here currently that can give me as much high voltage as I would preferably want that can actually probably damage this battery. But what I have here is a 18.5 volt um, charger and I'm using it on this um, 3.1 volt battery. So. It's actually giving me a really positive result 3.3 volts and 3.4 I feel like it's actually going to hold at that side and give me something more um, basically it's not getting to 3.4 yet um, 3.4 3.3 3.4 3.4 it's 
I'm getting 3.2 so it's basically increasing the voltage of, of the battery let's see if it holds charge after I remove this yeah now it's around 3.3 3.2 volts so it only increased the battery um, voltage which is pretty nice and I still have here my 18.4 volts so when it gets into this it just charges off the battery which is pretty nice so if I leave it for um, quite a large amount of time it's actually going to just increase the voltage of the battery and give it more power and one thing that I'm noticing again is that it's not actually warm like you can I can literally touch this it's not even warm or hot so this is pretty nice the NCA 21700 passed my tests and I really love this compared to the 18650 I've not actually I've seen tests on them but I've not actually done any tests maybe in the future I would actually do one of that all right guys thanks for watching if you've not liked subscribed please subscribe to my channel for more content like this all right guys cheers